it is known to have a lot of paranormal activity, EVPs, there's been pictures, there's been voices. There was no shape, there was no shoulder, no head. Like a mass or something? It was just a mass. And the best way to explain it was like a piece of cardboard was being slid across the door. Who's that? Yo, 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 who, who, who? Back then, you know, the times were just different. They even had like a prisoner in here as young as eight years old. Martin Kelly ended up taking a straight blade razor and cutting himself with it in the neck and almost decapitated himself. This might be the darkest room I've ever gone in. So these are motion sensors, right? So either someone just came down here. We're done. You yeah. yeah. It just said behind you. <laughs> That's constant. Maybe make it beat once. No, no, no. As I said. Welcome to the Overnight Channel, dedicated to finding proof of the paranormal. What's up everyone and welcome back to the overnight channel that is dedicated to everything paranormal, extraterrestrial, unknown, unsolvable, mysterious, Bigfoot and werewolves and vampires and ghosts and spirits and oh ghouls my. and all the evil oh things my. that live within the night that I want to meet. You want Wait, you want meat? <laughs> <laughs> what do you need meat? Oh, it's meat from the from the escape room. If you haven't seen that video, then that makes no <laughs> sense. Yeah, yeah. Let's go on with the I'm intro. I'm pretty sure all of it doesn't make any Hey, sense we're anymore. going back to the intro. <laughs> well, if you missed our last video, it was at Bobby Mackey's, and tonight we are in Ohio. We're at yes. in the uh, the Licking County, and this is the historic jail of Licking, like Licking. County. Mm -hmm. I love Licking. So Ghost Adventures has filmed an episode here, uh, I think in 2015. Yep. It is known to have a lot of paranormal activity, EVPs, there's been pictures, there's been voices. There's also been a, a few suicides that have happened here. Love there's this. a pretty grim past and we're excited to be here. But yep. more importantly, yeah. the reason why we're here. Why are we here, Alton? You the tell reason us. why we're here. here. Why? Why? If you we don't here? know, we've been running a monthly contest where every single month we pick one winner. We come out to your hometown and take you to do an overnight investigation in an area or something fun that you want to do. But in this case, it happened to be something spooky, which is why we are all the way out here. So without further ado, I'd like to announce our contest winners. Are you guys ready? Can I get a drum roll, please? What the heck is going Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. Boom, boom, boom. Boom! Boom! Can I get a belly roll, please? Boom! 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 Oh, boom! Whoa! Boom! JP, please come on in. Woo! Tyler, please come on in. Yay! Yay! They have arrived. Yes. Are you guys ready? Yes. Are you the fourth musketeer? I might be. <laughs> I <laughs> might be. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us. Are you ready? Have you done a paranormal investigation before? Anything like that? Never. Nothing. Never. Wow. You wanted to? Uh, I'm into the ghosts, so yeah. Okay. Have you ever just been alone in the dark? I mean, I, mean, I dude, sleep, what? so. Okay. <laughs> Was that a weird question to ask? No. You ever no. been alone in the dark? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you ever been alone in the <laughs> yeah. dark? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 I think he yeah. literally okay, hunched yeah. over. <laughs> Your arm <laughs> came from here. I you said, were holding said, something. Listen here, kid. <laughs> You ever been alone in the dark? <laughs> Listen here, boy. You want to go alone in the dark with me? Oh, then we won't be alone. Whoa, hey, hey, hey. And this is where the contest <laughs> winners immediately go. regret winning. <laughs> and, and we have to beg them to stay so we can yeah. get the video. <laughs> is he licking him? We're in Licking County. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> What'd they do? Are you guys excited or what? <laughs> <laughs> let's, everybody has to go alone in the yeah. dark. Come on. Alright, should we go inside? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Do you think they should learn a little bit more about this place before we go inside? Yeah, That's probably. Yeah. Alright, here's a little bit more information about the historic Licking County Jail. In 1969, the folks of this town started licking each other. The worst prisoner of this town got in trouble for licking 18 men in one night. And the crazy part is, all 18 men, he did in 18 minutes. And what makes it even better is they had an extra. Oh, there's a cop just staring at us. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, how do you know about our town? How did you hear about the lick? That man up there licking again. <laughs> hey everyone, I just wanted to pop in real quick before the video starts and let you know that our October mystery box is officially on sale right now, right here, sendsociety.com. For $66.60, you will get a hoodie, a hat, a t-shirt, 
and a mystery accessory that's really cool. Every single box is completely new designs, items that you've never had before. We only make them for the mystery box and then they are gone after that. So I normally don't even mention them in YouTube videos. We just use our email list and Twitter, but I'm really stoked on this one. So I wanna let you know all about it. November and December will have a mystery box as well. So keep an eye out for that. They typically sell out in like four days. So grab one. If you would like, I would recommend it. And if you can't tell, I'm also in Milan right now. I'm on a little vacation. We just finished uh, 43 days of filming in Europe. So a lot of good stuff coming your way. But enjoy the rest of this video and hopefully you'll enjoy your new gear that'll be arriving at your house in a few days from now if you buy one. Okay, bye. We're in the dungeon of the Licking County Jail. It was built in 1889. Um, the no. window. The windows? What you say? Oh, what you say? No. No, no to what? Huh? No to what? I'm amazed that you finally have a place called Licking County Jail and you didn't say it was built in 1969. Come on. Oh. You finally oh, had an opportunity oh, wow. and you blatantly wow. missed it. He's true. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Hey, Belton. There. there. Hey nice guys, how are you doing? There. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Sorry. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <my God. laughs> well, that's everyone else here that didn't introduce themselves, so. Yeah. Corey. Nice to meet you guys. Yeah. 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 We're kind of far away. JP. Tyler. And I'm Corbin. Hi guys. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. I'm Thank Terry you. and this is Darren. Nice. Nice. Thanks for having us. No you problem. Normally don't, guess come. normally don't start your tours down here, right? No. no. Start in the dungeon? Completely backwards. We're doing mm. that opposite. Okay. okay. Thanks, guys. Start in the dungeon. All right. You're the paranormal investigation team here as well, right? Yeah, yeah. pretty much. We do public ghost hunts and private ghost hunts as well. Though. Okay. How long have you been doing that here? Oh, it's been, what, about seven years? Seven years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you've seen Good a decent bit. amount. Yes, mm -hmm. we have. What would you say is the most bizarre paranormal thing you've had happen here? Uh, mine was actually standing right there. Oh, oh wow. Interesting. Standing right where? Right where he, basically right. where he is standing right there. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. Just yeah. that's true. Cool. Okay. And okay. I was working on something for the haunted attraction that we have here every year. Okay. And of course it was all dark down here and I didn't know the building. The only light that was on was out there in the staircase. So the chain light. And I was here alone, nobody in the building. And I thought I heard something, so I looked up. And as I looked up, my light started fading away because like something was blocking the door. And it was actually a black, there was no shape, there was no shoulder, no head. Like a mass or something? It was just a mass. And the best way to explain it was like a piece of cardboard was being slid across the door. And you soft. were standing right here? Yeah. Wow. So I just reached in, turned the light off, and hit the basement door. <laughs> he didn't turn the light off. He pulled that pull chain so hard that it wrapped. <laughs> and I didn't have a light when I came down. <laughs> There's been a black mass seen behind you as well. Oh, oh, several times. Super oh. tall. <laughs> yeah. Oh <my> <laughs> 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 Do you like we're playing musical chair? He hasn't heard me yet, so you're all right. Okay. <laughs> if you guys want to stand where I was, it's okay. Yeah, anyone want to stand? Yeah, for oh, a little bit. Oh, okay. 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 Okay
my necklace got pulled in that chapel in front of a tour group, just straight pulled out, dropped on the floor, three witnesses. Oh, Same door, we came out of there, and the girl that I was telling the last story to before the tour ended was kind of leaning against that door. And now we have a piece of plywood wedged under the door. And the door kind of loose and hit her in the ass, and she was out the door. Oh. The tour group ran because they just saw my oh, necklace pull off. And, like, and this was history tours. It had nothing to do with paranormal. Wow. Lights were on. Wait, you were standing over there when your necklace was pulled yeah, off. Yeah, standing right there in the doorway. Yeah. Facing this way. And everybody was like standing oh. around him, and they watched it like lift yeah, up, pull like out, and fall. Oh, this okay. is usually the That's end of our history tour. So when you're standing here telling the story of a certain person in the jail, they stand right here. You tell them. You walk in the bottom steps and then they go out. And this is where my necklace got pulled. Wait, so it was during a history tour? Yeah. A day time a history tour. Did the whole group freak out? There was three people here and one person there. I had two other in the group that were paranormal investigators, but they were in the dungeon. So they didn't see it. But these three were just your average 50, 60 year old just listening to the story. So. And it got pulled up yeah, out and broke. Straight out and pulled out. I felt the pressure pull. I thought it just fell off because I was right in the middle of the story and I was kind of new at doing tours of groups so I was a little nervous and when it pulled out I just kind of went like this and it hit the floor and I'm like oh my necklace fell off and then one lady's like no I saw it pull out. So they actually saw it. They saw I didn't, it and he thought it was broken. I, you know, talking and being busy I wasn't paying attention but I didn't. just didn't, the clasp was straightened out. What? Same necklace I had. Same exact necklace. Okay. I was in the Wow. Yeah, I was going to say. Back then, you know, the times were just different. You know, we were told that they even had like a prisoner in here as young as eight years old. Jeez. What? Yeah. How did someone That's go to prison crazy. eight years old? They steal a cookie from the cookie jar? Maybe. I mean, maybe they stole something from a little store or, you know, or something like that. Or screaming at a restaurant. Yeah. yeah. I feel like that's yeah. jail time. I don't think you go to a <laughs> dungeon, though, as an yeah. eight year old. Trying to eat my pasta and you get that little kid screaming and running around. Oh, jail. Like, yeah. <laughs> jail time. I like, like, crying on a plane. Jail time. Yeah. Um, it was an open air jail, so you know that that means the bars on the windows outside did not have plexiglass over it. It didn't have you know like there's like a mesh um, over top of it. Now it was just open. So you know original heating would have been like there's one fireplace you'll see them on on each cell block in one corner you know and that would have been the heat if it was cold out you know cold on the other yeah. opposite side it was just cold so people could just literally just throw things at, at them like yeah. if, they, if someone on the night they could just have a loved one just give them a knife oh yeah we used to see it as kids oh this place was still mm -hmm. open when we were teenagers so yeah and younger so yeah all let's right go. let's go to the first door cell block let's do it oh, this is really super cool Ooh, let's go around the ball Isn't it crazy? Yeah. So think about that. That's the clock. Oh, that so the cool. trustee or the jailer would have walked hey. around. That's a big view. And he would have walked around here, and that's the only way that he could check on his inmates. Because yeah, there's, there's no windows on the doors through the middle. These were electric. So can you imagine? It's scary. It's kind of like it's locked. Whoa. Who's that? Yo, yo, yo. Who, who, who? Yo, it's, who's the, it's Elton. Okay. Oh. Yo. My eyes are too good. Yo, okay. My eyes are like, yo. Who is walking towards me? I don't know. I don't know. I just pulled a brand and I just went. Just walked over. That's the move. You just gotta. Oh, you guys walk, you walk, you walk, you walk me in here, huh? Corey was losing his mind. No, you could have walked straight up to me and grabbed me. I wouldn't have seen you if that window was. Um now I do want to mention this shower right here. Yeah. It's probably one of our bloodiest um deaths in the jail. Martin Kelly, I think it was around 1905, ended up taking a straight blade razor and cutting himself with it in the neck and almost decapitated himself. Ooh. By himself, he By almost himself. decapitated. Mm -hmm. Yes. You yes. ever heard of anything like that? No. 
That's insane. And I guess, you know, all the inmates in here were yelling, they're trying to get attention of a trustee or a sheriff or somebody Jeez. to come in here and help him. I mean, you're not going to have any time. No, of course not. But they pulled him out here and he basically just bled out right here. Jeez. Why such a heavy... There's a lot of... I, I hate the sub block. Like, there's a lot of activity here. Um, this doorway right here is where I saw that me and another little girl, we were doing flashlight tours and she was getting ready, I was standing in the hallway out there and she was getting ready to take a photo down the middle cell block and a black shadow figure just walked by, solid black, real tall, like it, like his head was, like the forehead up was about the door doorway. Huh. So kind of like me when I was... Yeah, it was something like that. There was yeah. a guy that escaped. If you guys look it at these, oh, really? it wasn't a big, a big window though. It was a little window. Really? Yeah, it might have been one of these, but it, it may not have been one of these windows. But he did slide out the bars of this building somewhere. We don't wow. know exactly. Oh, really? Because those are the original window bars. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. There, and I forget oh. what floor it was. It was actually one of the out? showers. Wait. It wasn't a very big window. I don't like this floor. Oh, okay. this, this floor creeps me out. I've heard footsteps in here. Like I went to leave one night. I was by myself in here and I was gathering my stuff up on the desk and I was going out that side door and, and leaving out the door you guys came in at. And um, I heard clicking of a pen, which somebody later told me that said that might be a counter, like counting your inmates. Aww. And I thought, oh, that's, that's smart. And then I heard heavy footsteps and whistling. And they were, it was coming towards that door and it kept getting heavier and heavier as it got closer to the door. And woo, it scared me. So every time I'm like in this cell block, I get creeped out. No, that mm. makes sense. Yeah. I believe that. Yeah. Well, what's your second least favorite floor? I would say personally, it's probably the third floor cell block. Yeah, the the mo the most deaths are on the, on the third floor. You are there? Yeah, let's go. Well, are you sure you want to go there just yet? Yeah, I mean, this is called the North Tier Catwalk. Oh. And I've seen you do your blue steel face multiple times. Cue the music, Jack. So that upset, remember the mob is here, you know, they, they liked having the alcohol here and stuff. So they formed a mob of about 5,000 people on the north side of our jail, came in here and stormed the jail, no way. broke into Carl's cell, broke in. I mean, I would think they probably were slipped the keys, yeah. but Carl was basically beaten to death Jeez. in the cell. He was drug out of here, taken to the southeast corner of our square and lynched. And it, I mean, in 1910, it made national news. What was that? So. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Corey, I'm sorry. Corey, Corey. I'm sorry. <laughs> we do so have a lot of activity during the tour. Yeah. yeah, I was going to say, we do pay attention to the tours because we've heard screaming before. This is just while we're going through on the tour, so you never know. You said he was just a child, right? Yeah, when his father came and cleaned his body, they found out he was only 17 years old. Right, that's the one that, he was 17, the one that everyone yeah. came in and took him out? And yes. Yeah. That's the biggest thing here. A lot of these cell blocks are all, you know, you'll hear, feel like somebody's like walking behind you or whistling. And it's, plus it echoes so much in here that 
you can't like where was that? You know where that happened? Yeah, yeah. But there's a lot of activity still. So. This is the creepiest damn. I hate this so much. Really? Tell me more. Yeah, we gotta find out why. Down at the very end, if you guys look down at the very end, there's outside light comes in. Mm -hmm. Even at night, when it's dark out because you got street lights and you're up so hot, you're above the street light. Okay. So you get a lot of, this is a good cell block for shadow play. So if you're gonna see a shadow, this will be the floor because the other cells, we have windows blocked off. At the very end of the cell block is solid. Solid. So, like it was originally. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> and you'll see someone walk behind it, going across it, and then this last cell down here on the right is what we call peekaboo man. Peekaboo man. He will actually stick his head and shoulders out of that cell. And we catch it constant. Out of this cell right here? That one he's in, just like that. Oh, wow. About the same height as him. <laughs> and it's easy to see, like I said, on this floor because you got so much outside light. Definitely, definitely. Um, me and Terry have seen it several times during tours because we're all actually going backwards. Usually we're coming from the fourth to the third. Yeah. Me and her are always leading the group. And as we come down, it's every time we come to this floor, just about it happens. It's been witnessed several times. Um, then, like I said, behind that bar door, you see something through the guard wall. A lot of deaths on this floor. I think there's, yep. how many are on this floor, Terry? Seven. Seven. Seven deaths? Between suicides and deaths. So you had a bunk here, 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 here. So there'd be one under each bunk, and two in the middle, or one in the middle. Which I would be nasty, because look. That'd be awful, yeah, exactly. No. Somebody decides they need to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. Did you, like, you hear that? You heard that? Did you hear that? What'd you hear? I was listening to this. It was like a little tapping. It was like in the room? Tap, tap. You get a lot of times to Okay. It's mostly voices during the tour. Somebody yeah. will start talking and then everybody's like, shh. <laughs> this investigation is going to be fun. This is the fourth floor cell block. This is the women's floor. The women's floor? The rest of the floors are wrong for men. For men. Well, the women's floor already scares me. <coughs> this is the floor that Nate Marner set herself on fire. Whoa. Oh, right here? Is, this, yeah. is it? It was in this cell. It was in that cell. What did what, what happened? What happened? So she, it was in the fifties, and she had been going through a real rough time in her life, and um, she was getting a divorce from her husband, and she had taken a bunch of sleeping pills and tried to commit suicide, and they ended up taking her to a local hospital and pumping her stomach, and they brought her here for safekeeping. Mm -hmm. So the matron locked her in her cell. Within thirty to forty-five minutes, she set herself on fire with the one match that she had. Jesus. What did she have on herself to lay on fire? Like, uh, they said, I thought they said gown. Garb. Or, yeah, I think Women's the word garb. was garb, yeah. So what they I mean, she wasn't in. an inmate. She was just here for safekeeping. Wow, well, and that's the same thing that happened over at Mansfield, not too far yeah, away. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep, somebody in the cell. Yeah. That is yeah. a nasty story. Yes. But we did um, some research on May as well and found out that she actually killed herself on her husband's birthday. Please tell me something. Is anyone in there? Yes. That has, <laughs> that has come like, to life. That's like, that has come to life. That has come to life. That has come to life. That has come She made a music box for the investigators to kind of draw her out. Mm -hmm. You open the lid and you turn her into play. But when you okay. walked out of this floor and had that thing come on by itself. Mm -hmm. I feel like that. if that comes on tonight, I'm going to be so happy. It's freaky. Happy. Happy. It just it adds to it. It's happened. happened. We should put the music box in here. It's so small. Yeah. It's really like feel like kind of trapped. They wouldn't have had as many in the women's cells, but the men's were six by eight size, men for two men. Yeah. And during overcrowded conditions, they would have as many as six to eight. Jesus. Everything's different. You get voices, you get voices over your voice, yeah. um, footsteps scuffing. Like I just heard somebody, I thought one of you guys was back there. <laughs> but there's nobody back there right now. There were four sheriffs that passed away in this jail. Three of them died in the same room, all of her conditions. Wow. Really? Yeah. In the room above, right? The, yeah, it's, it's during in the living quarters. So. Wow. The fourth one actually died in the same, well, he wasn't dead yet, but he had had something, some sort of a heart condition and was taken to the hospital and passed away, but he was also in the same room. Was it all natural causes or was it like... And they were relatively, yes, and they were mm -hmm. relatively young. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we had a tour guide leaning on that fireplace in there in front of a group and she got smacked in the leg. 
front of everybody. Wow. Did they hear like a... Yeah, we all heard it. Jeez. Were you up here too when it happened? Yeah. yeah. What? Yeah. That That's room in there where you saw Zach Baker had a lot of it. We have an entity. That we, we call him David. We don't know who he is, why he's here. David. He affects a lot of people. We've had a lot of evidence from him, um, especially on like ghost boxes mm. or geo boxes type stuff. He yeah. Just talks. He steps. By the, by the way, can you let me out, please? Can you let me out, please? Can you let me out, please? No. Okay. But, no, all right. Well, by the way, everyone, if you don't know, Corey and I are still doing our overnight contest. That's why JP and Tyler are here, because they won. And if you want to come and get locked in a jail with us, you can totally do that. We pick one winner every month, and we bring you somewhere haunted, someone nearby, whatever you want to do. Or you can do something fun. That's totally fine. There's two ways to enter. One's just leave a like and a comment on the video. The other is head over to society.com. Right there. Link. Go check it out. It supports us. Can you please let me out? What do you mean? Can you please? Oh, I think I want you to introduce themselves. Yes. All right, should we start? All right. Oh, that's dumb. Hello, my name is Corbin. Hello, my name is Corey. Hello, my name is JP. Hello, my name is Tyler. My name is Brandon. My name is Elton. And for anyone that might be here in the building tonight, you've heard there's quite a variety of different people for different reasons. We'd love to be able to say hello. I want to set this down and make sure it doesn't go off. Absolutely. Sure, the it's spirit box. The spirit box? I mean with the music box. Okay. I mean, I'll just set it right here, and then I'm gonna set it. Oh, oh. Damn it. Okay, it works. All right, one of you boys lead it off. You ready? Corbin, you got the vocals. One, a two, a one, two, three. Yo, boy. scared pretty soon. Like that's pitch black. Thank right you. This might be the darkest room I've ever gone in. <laughs> so why don't you leave them away then? Come on. You got it. Let's do it together. Corn core. Here, hold my tip. Here you go. Alright. <laughs> oh, what is this? What the heck? Why didn't we see this? Did you put the music box on top of it? Oh. Just do it the opposite way. Or yeah, just like that. There you go. That's perfect. That's a good idea. See if it turns on. Where are you going, Grant? In the middle? Here? Mm, I don't know. I kind of like being in the solitary confinement. Okay. Area. I'll put it in the solitary confinement then. 
So right now we're sitting in the cell of May Varner, yeah. right? And I don't think she was an inmate, but she came in here and she lit herself on fire. Lit her dress on fire. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. We're asking like, is it gasoline? Lighting her dress on fire. How crazy is that? Clearly think about that girl, she like, you know, like you said, lit her dress on fire, but think about like, how long it took, even just building up for her whole dress to yeah, catch it fire. takes so long. Like she just, you know, sat there or whatever she did. Yeah. How can you sit there like that? I don't know. Well, I think that's what we're going to have to ask her. That's 100% one of them we got, right? <laughs> so these are motion sensor lights. So either someone just came down here. Hello? set up on the floor and set up in other spots that you can activate by either touching or walking in front of, putting your energy into it. And that's how you could answer us and let us know that you are here. So we're gonna to try to ask you some questions and if you wanna answer us, that'd be really nice. Unless it is possible to hear you, you can knock on a door, you can make some noise, you can even try talking. I'm sure you know how to do it. You've probably talked to a bunch of people through here. We're just, we would like to have a conversation with you. Is it true that you lit yourself on fire in this cell? Are you hesitant to talk about something that serious? like the only device that we ever trust because like we've never once been able to figure out what could ever set it off other than motion. Were you depressed? You hear that? You heard that? Yeah. Whoa, whoa. That came from over there. I sounded like a squeak. Like a door. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it did. Yeah, right. It's not like a door. Yeah, you heard that? Yeah. Put it in here because just like Missouri State Pen, if the rim pod goes off, yeah, yeah. I'd say do two of them, like one here, okay, and then maybe like one back in that corner. Well, I have one in the other room right okay. now. Okay. Oh, I can't believe you really just that one time, right? That's the only time wow. it has ever gone off, and that still to me might be the craziest evidence that we've ever seen. Yeah, that was those two devices going off back to back. May, do you like music? If you like music, we have a box right there, and also you have your box over here. If you step in front of that box, it will start to play. We would love to hear that. Anybody's down here. We have a device inside a solitary confinement cell. If you go near there, it'll light up and we'll know. If there are any spirits, souls. You hear that? That sounded good. You hear that? That sounded good. Tyler seems to think you're afraid to come and talk to us. You're afraid if you're, you know, big bad spirit, go ahead and touch that box. Like right, just looking out the door. Are you out there? I thought I heard a footstep rise. You said, are you out there? Like, are you out there? On top of my voice? No, rise, you finished. I was like, are you out there? 
Could you walk co closer to us? I think I heard what you said. Deadass. I've done this the last couple times. Do you have any desire to do this? You what? So basically you put on the headphones, right? And it's connected to a spirit box, and the only thing you say are the things you clearly hear come through. Because it's scanning basically like, I don't know, 50 radio stations every 10 Did seconds. You again? Yeah, the light just flashed. What light? This the flashlight. The flashlight just flickered. Oh, did it really? Yeah. The flashlight that you said would never work and never do that. I, s I sound like Elton. He <laughs> <laughs> just agreed. Yeah, the LED flashlight that he said would never do this. Here you go. We could walk down the hall really slow with a thousand rods. Yeah. And I could say, make the rods point. It's a good idea to, you know, whichever so one of them wants to talk to us. Okay. Yeah. You guys want to do that? Let's do, do it. Because I, I, we're not getting anything from me. No, I agree. I'll accept this right here. You don't have to do anything. And then, uh, yeah. All right, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go kind of right where it's going to try to light on me. <laughs> Literally went right where you turned trying to light on me. Damn. Does he have one? Yeah. I have a friend Tyler here. Has uh, some headphones on connected to a sphere box. It's scanning through radio stations just in case you don't know what it is. And if there's anything you want to say to us, you can chime in and snag some of those words and he'll hear them and communicate that. If you wanted to do something absolutely ridiculous that would terrify Evan, who clearly said this flashlight has no ability to do what it's doing right now, could you turn that flashlight on just full solid? Just any point during the night. Just a full solid light, and it would be remarkable because no one has ever used one of these flashlights. So, all you gotta do is just twist it a little bit, and uh, it'll turn that thing right on. It's trying to. He has the headphones on, right, Ed? Yeah. It's gonna go on full solid, dude. It's gonna do it. I think so. Do you hear any words? No. Nothing at all? Okay. Man, if you're in that room, we have a cat ball. Do you guys see the light right there? I just saw a light that just went down like this. No way. Yeah, just a tiny one. The faintest. May, if you're in there, we'd like for you to move that cat ball that we put in your room. If you could just shake it or anything, any contact would mean the world. All right, do me a favor one more time if you are down here. You. Huh? They just said behind you. <laughs> oh, maybe you weren't shining the light on me. Maybe you're shining the light on someone else. In solitary confinement. Well, that's me. That's you. That's you. Damn it, dude. I was like, no way. I got too close. Okay, now I know. We placed a toy in May's room right in front of her door. And if you touch that toy, it's a little ball, it will light up to different colors. If you want us to bring that ball into this room, can you make it light up? You heard that? Yeah, yeah. there was a tap to the left. Can you make that tap again? You obviously already know how to use the flashlight. If you want to take a walk over here, we're not going to close the door. There's no locks on it. You won't be trapped inside. You are more than welcome to walk around. But if you are here and you happen to have a name, would you mind communicating that through our friend Tyler with the headphones on? Sometimes it helps if like we sit down. Yeah. You gonna sit down? Yeah, because I cause like, I'm a kid and there's like three guys just standing here. Like I'm not gonna go. I mean I gotta I'm gonna stay right back here because that that I feel like look. Stick your leg out, see how far it's go to set it off. See your leg up. Yeah, your leg's out. 
That's not you. That's Dude! That's not you. Maybe it was saying sit down and went off. Oh, he said what? sit down. Exactly. That's right. You went into this. Right as you said. I mean, maybe we move Tyler over here where there's, I'm pointing here, but you can't see, but there's a window or what was a window. Maybe just that extra 15 feet would help out. Yeah, or the chapel. The chapel's yeah. closer to the street too. Oh, yeah. And yeah, the window. All right, we can try the chapel. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Are you kind of quiet? You don't really want to talk all that much? Cause that's okay. All right. So I said the flashlight was never going to go off, the flashlight went off. You just said that's not going to go anywhere. It's not going anywhere. I think it's wedged in. Who did that? <laughs> did it actually just close? Yeah. <laughs> did it really just close? Did you do that? <laughs> no. I didn't touch it. Oh. <laughs> it even moved the REM pod and the REM pod didn't go off. Oh yeah. Is the REM pod not on? It's on. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's really wedged in there. So say it again. It's not going off. Were you friends with May? Did you know her? Hey John. Lift up one of your arms real quick. I don't know. I saw a shadow. Where? Up there. Oh, oh. Should we put him somewhere further away from us? Like Probably. Right or back here? I'll put, I'll put him back here. Okay. Well, I have a window too. And for a wall. Have fun, Brandon. Thanks. Thanks, Evan. You're the nicest. Right down. Do you feel like you have unfinished business? Were you here when May set herself on fire? I go over that other room, there's a, wind, a window that goes to the outside. Which room? That room straight ahead. Okay. Let's see if I can get anything that way. Not sure. You are able to see us make these rods cross. Alright, if there are any spirits, entities, anything of that nature in the building, especially now that we're in the chapel, someplace you might feel safe. We mean you absolutely no harm. We would just love to know if you are here. Nothing negative down here. Oh, that noise said. No, I didn't hear him. Tyler, did you? I might be way more quiet then. Yeah. Okay. If you are able to hear us, make these rods cross. It's cross. That's crossing. It's crossing. Okay. Could you tell us your name? I did. Do you feel like you can't leave here until you finish? What did she say earlier? She said she couldn't leave until what? Unfinished business. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. We can say these 
Yeah, yeah for later. For later. later. She, I mean, they, they want to talk to us. What do you want to do? Uh, yeah, he's going to tell you what it is. Okay. I have a device in my hand. How crazy is this? And it's going to scan through radio, okay? This didn't work at all when we were in Maze Room. Okay. I'm going to turn this on, and we're going to be able to hear you talking to us through this device. It's going to scan through the radio, and it'll pick up the words that you're trying to say. It just got out to blank silence for a second. Like, not even any static. As I'm saying, every time I ask for a name, we don't get any kind of response. Four. Is that how old you are? I don't see you. Are you in a different room than any of us are? Are you... Into the end. to leave, light up one of these devices and show us the way out. We're done. Cool. Thank you for talking to us. Would it be possible? I know, I know, I know, I know.
Do you enjoy talking to us? Oh. Three, three, three. This one just did. Yep. If we go to another cell, will you follow us? Just kept saying, into, into the end, no more, the yeah. end, we're done. It's over and again. And that was kind of it. Yeah. Nothing really, like, made sense. Like, there was maybe two lines in a row or two questions and answers in a row that made sense. Yeah. But nothing enough where it felt like there was a real conversation happening. Yeah. So, and nothing else happened. We were asking for a name, so I don't necessarily believe that anything that we got on that was like concrete. Yeah. Anybody in these cells? Is there anybody here today? With us? All right, Scout's Honor, leaving the door like that. We're taking the camera with us. But Scout's Honor, no one else is coming down here. So I'll check before we leave. Yeah, I mean, it's the same as like the, the pool ball concept. Yes. Same as the flashlight concept. Mm -hmm. why, why couldn't it work with the door? All it needs is just a little bit of energy and the gravity in our world will do the rest. Yeah. Well, then should we leave that GoPro on that chair? Is it worth it? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> It'll die. You can show me that you're here by helping us and making this spike. It changes to different colors. And if you touch this, it will change to... It can change to red if you really put your hand on it. Oh my god, no. No, 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 no
three and two, and then you have to take the house. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do we'll it. switch, and then should we keep the same tools? We we'll switch JP and Tyler. Switch, tools. switch complete tools. Yeah. So we'll switch the tools, and we'll switch the tools. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say just switch JP and Tyler so that way they see different tools with different people. Right. We're on the house side now. Thank you, Portland. This is also where the person got touched or slapped. Slapped. Someone got slapped on the leg during a tour. And the people heard it. Like everyone heard it. That's actually If you are here. And you like to slap Corey's face. No. Oh, it's open. Incorrect. We just come in here to talk. We would love to communicate with you if you'd like to. We know we are at the uh, matron's bedroom. So, if anybody's in here, we have a couple devices that we'd like to use. This box right here. I'm going to set this up. On this, facing down. Huh? Okay, yeah. Oh. Should be able to balance. Yep, look at that. I we had it right here at first, pointing down the hall. Oh, really? Yeah. That's kind of what I'm doing, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you mean you get out of the way? Cause yeah, you're kind of great. Oh, here, let's, let's go in this little cell. Alright, I am right here right now. If you're over here, you can touch the cap off. If you're over there. Also, we're going to ask questions. And if we ask a question, you can use the REM pod, maybe make it beep once. Okay, that was great. That was really good, I mean. That was very fast. I would definitely like to make sure that that's you. So we're gonna ask you a couple questions and keep moving things like that, keep touching them. You can make this beep once for yes. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> okay, I think we're gonna, Wires cross. He or she likes the cat ball. <laughs> Where the shit do? Can I just say something real quick? Yeah. We had that cat ball out for 45 minutes. I <laughs> never once went off. I know. I don't know. And look, everybody go like this. Just make sure to like say it loud. Okay. Okay. Alright. Wanna go down this way? Sure. Alright. Alright, does anyone in this cell block? My friend JP now has the headphones on. He'll be able to hear anything that you might have to say. A lot of deaths happened in this building. Is that right? What was that? Was that one of them or was that something rare? You heard that too? Yeah. <laughs> Staying alive. Staying alive. <laughs> Is there anyone in any of these cells? Hi. Well, if you are, you've grown free. Okay, we're gonna leave. We're gonna go to a different room. Thank you for talking to us. We'd love to be able to communicate with you and understand why, what happened. Dude, that was. Yeah, that was done. You heard that. Maybe we should put it on the stairs. Yeah, somebody climbing up the steps. Dude. Or walking up the steps. That was for sure someone walking up the steps. That was that was a that was like right here. I think that was like right in the the top steps over here. Dude, that was a hundred percent someone or something coming up the steps. Yeah, put it down there. Should I put it at the bottom or halfway? I'd put it like halfway, just in case anybody is like coming to just watch us. Like right here? Mm hmm.
Okay. And he said nothing. Absolutely nothing. That is wild. Well, we can grab him out. He hasn't heard anything in 10 minutes. Can you point both of these rods in the direction that you want us to walk to? Let's point this one. At the door. Do you like us to walk over here? That's great. In Ten minutes, heard nothing. I could. It just kept playing the same country song. <laughs> really? Yeah, it kept going back to the country song, and I may have heard like a old man say something a couple of times, but I couldn't tell what he said. Though. Yeah. Can you point both of the rods? To where you are. Here. Okay, wait right here. Wait, I, I'm gonna go get all the tools. It's literally pointing to that back corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just so curious because if the tools start going off yeah. over there, then what the frauds literally led us to over there. Over all of these investigations, because we've had, we have so many and they've been to so many places, they're just all slowly like yeah. mechanically being worn and then just also being drained. I think we need to do what we did a while ago and just kind of revamp the whole kit. Yeah. yeah before we go to Europe, we need yeah. an entire overall. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, because that, yeah, I don't know. Did we've had a lot of activity with that one. Yeah, that went off like crazy for me and Corey. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, we did absolutely nothing here. If you let us in here and you want to talk and communicate with us, can you make either the cat ball on the floor light up or can you try to touch this box? <gasps> yeah! 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 or somebody was trying to get into it. You know what I mean? Which is kind of weird because what, why would that be so degraded? You know what I mean? Yeah. Almost just like somebody took an ax to it. Yeah. Thank you all so much for watching the video. JP, thank you, man, for yeah. coming. Thank Seriously. you for sure, yeah. Yeah, of course. I mean, you, you won the contest, it was your choice. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I appreciate you supporting us. And obviously you bought the merch, that's because what you're wearing. I don't but even have one of those. I've been wanting one of those hoodies for a while. No, and I that's awesome. Had one. <laughs> Ask him. How much? How much you willing to how take much, for that? How much you want for it? Uh, What'd you pay for it? Fifty? It's, it's mine. Oh! Yeah. Shut him down. What would you? What would you? I'm gonna offer him. Pay I'm over here wearing blank shirts because I don't even have. I don't even have. Yeah, because I have mind. all of your shirts blank that you leave shirt. after every trip in my closet. I know we didn't get anything. I don't think we didn't get no, anything. We got we got a, we got a little bit. Yeah, got a little bit. We definitely got a little bit. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. Yeah, we didn't. It was fun. It was a good time. Yeah. yeah. Good. Okay. Would you really do it again? Spot. Yeah, I'd do it again. Okay. Yeah, I think you got to Would you do it again? Time. Yeah, for sure. And thank, thank you. you all so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying the new channel. I do believe this is the last video we're making in the United States. Oh, yes. For this year. Wow. That's crazy. Yes. I believe so. Because I, I believe all the next videos are coming out of uh, Ukraine and Romania. Romania. And uh, UK, Scotland, Ireland, France. Oh boy! And all the rest of the videos, and then we'll have a USA video again next year. That's nuts. So, Damn. get ready for the journey. Last one. It.
Time to get all new gear because all of our we need it. everything we is need it badly. Out. Yeah, everything wow. is destroyed. So all right, all right. See you guys next week. Not video. our hearts. Okay, bye. That was so nice. Thank you. We should go buy swords. 